Welcome to a short cooking on the fry episode on the fly. Well, I just got this idea. Uh, I'm working on something else, but a while back my ex gave me these Red Baron cheese pizzas. She she likes to give me the food that the kids decide they don't like anymore, and I like free food. And I'm not gonna. I don't buy this stuff for myself, but I'm not gonna throw it away because I can't afford to just throw away food I could eat. So they were almost done. Here they are, kind of cheesy, melty. Well, I got these two tomatoes left over from the submarine sandwich episode. Well, there you go. Here's a chance to use some ingredients that I didn't have a use for and to enhance something that, well, maybe could use a little enhancement. So here's my chance to show off my new slicing knife. This is a sabatier. Interesting. Well, let's see if it slices tomatoes and how well it does. Well, there you go, it slices. Yeah. These tomatoes are absolutely perfect and they need to be eaten today, seriously, because they are getting soft and they are absolutely wonderful and it would be a shame to not do something kind of cool with them. I just discovered the fast forward setting on my video editing software that I've only been using for a few years, so live and learn. Whoops, I forgot to get that one. The tomato skin is slippery no matter how sharp this knife is. This knife has been used once, and it's still touch and go. Well, there we go. So now you can probably see what's next. We're going to turn Red Baron Pizza into a even redder Baron Pizza. I mean, how could this not work? I'm so glad I thought of this. With about five minutes before these were done, I, uh, I, I should have thought of this a little earlier, but in this case, better late than never. And uh, better eight than uh, garbage disposal. There we go. Couldn't come up with a rhyming word. In fact, I'm not even turning off the fridge like I usually do. Sorry for the noise, but I'm so distracted that Sometimes I turn off the fridge and I forget to turn it back on again and I discover several hours later that I forgot to turn on the fridge. I haven't really messed up yet, but I'm not even taking the chance. Now, I'm putting these back in the oven, which is still at about 300, and I'm even going to power the oven down as low as it'll go to about 200 and let these set for about 10 minutes. Okay, here we go. See you in a few. Well, 10. Okay, so I'm down to 200. There we go. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. And here's our pizza and the cheese is like a perfect golden brown. Now the point was to bring the tomatoes up to a nice temperature. They're not really pizza style tomatoes because I thought of this too late, but yeah, they're nice and warm. They just don't feel like they got took out of the fridge and put on a pizza. Well, there's lunch one way or another. Since they were only in the oven the last 10 minutes at 200, they're perfectly cool enough to try. Let's see what this tastes like. Hey, very good. I got to use up my extra ripe tomatoes. I uh, greatly enhanced a pizza experience. And I have a very cheesy excuse for a cooking on the fry episode. Bye for now.